to Nittany Nation Game Day. Two in a row. That's a win streak. It's the 900th win in program history. You saw the Penn State you remember, and the Penn State you hope to see. The sprint is on. The finish line is near. I can't wait to take this thing off so they can see my face and my emotion. We say goodbye to the seniors, or so we think. I'm a dog! 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 If little me looked at me right now, I 100% know that little me would be happy. It's time to lock in, lock down, and leave it all at Beaver Stadium. Nittany Nation game day starts now. Hey, hi, hello. That was crispy. <laughs> Welcome back to Nittany Nation Game Day. I'm Peter Terpstra. As always, I'm very short and I'm standing on a box and the regular season is winding down and Penn State is going to say goodbye or see you later to its seniors today. And for folks at home, you don't know, Peter puts those opens together and with limited video, he has been knocking it out of the park <laughs> with each intro for each show that we've been doing. I'm Jack Washer. Penn State has a chance to finish the season strong and yeah, while I'm not pumping Peter's tires, we're talking about <laughs> Penn State getting close to a potential bull berth. But first, we got to talk about how we got here, and that'd be the Rumble at Rutgers last Saturday. Welcome back, Penn State, because you went back to your winning formula. You ran the ball, you protected the ball, and then, well, yeah, you won the game because you racked up three times the rushing yards that Rutgers did. That'd be 248 yards on the ground for Penn State. And you take away Sean Clifford's interception, and Penn State might have shut them out. That's two wins in a row as Penn State beats Rutgers 23-7. to Speaking of the run game, this is an important story. This guy made his return. Running back Devin Ford, he missed last week's game at Michigan with a personal issue, and he revealed after the Rutgers game that his brother passed away the week before. He described being back on the gridiron after dealing with one of the toughest weeks of his life. It felt pretty good, I mean, to come out here and play a game again, you know, play the game of football, felt great. Play with my team, actually get a dub, you know, I'm on the field, on the sideline with them, and going through those struggles and those coaching adjustments, anything else on the field, like, I was there for all that. So, definitely felt great to be back. Switching gears now, this could be Penn State's final home game. They've won two in a row, which, Peter, I think is a lot better than losing five in a row. Yeah, the team has, you could say, a little bit of momentum. Momentum that might give a silver lining to this season when everything is all said and done. There's been some really good examples as well um, of this team sticking together, of this team battling back at a time where other programs aren't. It's been a wild ride. Penn State went from this. Oh my gosh. To this. Clifford had it picked off. To back to back wins. I'm not going to give up on my family um, and my teammates. And, and that was one thing that, you know, I, I addressed the team one time. Uh, just talking about how, you know, the last thing that I'm going to do is in, in the time of adversity and time where, you know, your team needs you the most is just turn your back. So what is the team playing for? Well, a bowl game is not off the table, but who knows? Another loss could snatch that chance away. You only really lost when you don't learn nothing. And you watch how, if you watch the team, you just see how many young guys is out there you, and they making plays. It should get you excited. It really should get you excited. And speaking of some young fellas, this guy had himself a game redshirt freshman corner. Joey Porter Jr. earned himself Big Ten Freshman of the Week honors. He had a career high seven tackles against Rutgers, and so far this season, he has 30 tackles and a sack in his first season starting. So, yes, like I said, get excited about the young guys on this team. Plenty of young guys, too. All right, Jack. So, is Penn State back to being a New Year's Six Bowl team, and they're just. You're checking them off from here on out, right? Well, I mean, if everyone cancels because of COVID, maybe, oh, and whatnot. Don't but even. I'm just saying. <laughs> but, like, no, they're playing well right now. And I think the fact that you're getting wins in the win column right now is big for this program after what it went through the first five weeks of the season to the near win at Indiana, mm -hmm. to Ohio State, and then just the, felt like the bottom just fell out against Maryland and whatnot. And to finally see yourself winning and playing that brand of football, like Brent Pry's defense, finally looking like Brent Pry's defense. Yeah. You know, think about it. Rutgers was scoring about 30 points a game, 
and Penn State held it to mm -hmm. seven points, and their only points that they scored was because their quarterback threw up a prayer. It was somehow a came, prayer, and it was so, off a turnover, too. Exactly. So, like, Penn State came that close to pitching a shutout against Rutgers. So, I think they're back. Uh, I think they fi finally figured it out on offense. Hey, don't turn it over mm -hmm. three or four times a game, and, you know, we might win. And if, hey, you want, if you want an explanation, I mean, I think it's pretty obvious that you had so many young players at the beginning of this thing. I mean, go back to when uh, Devin Ford accidentally scored a touchdown against yeah. Indiana, right? So you had these early mistakes and guys have kind of come around uh, and they're starting to look like a winning football team. Now, yes, they lost five in a row. Uh, we're not sure if they're going to be able to make a bowl game. There are no win requirements for bowl games, but bowl, bowl games are getting canceled out there. So all that's got to be figured out. All of that's over our head. But, hey, Penn State's winning right now, and they got Michigan State coming up. All right, so ahead on Nittany Nation game day, we take a look at the senior class. Is this a goodbye or see you later? We'll talk about that next. Tis the season to be cheersin'. Get cheersin' with all with new holiday drinks at Dunkin'. Send a virtual cheersin' with the Dunkin' app. Play your first 24 hours risk-free and get up to $200 back if you don't win. At Dean Patterson Mazda, it's a season of inspiration. We are offering 0% for 60 months on 2020 Mazda 6 models. Ask about our other offers and discounts. Come see us at Dean Patterson Mazda. Purchase any new or certified Mazda here at Dean Patterson and receive a two-year or 24,000-mile no-cost maintenance plan exclusively here at Dean Patterson Mazda. From service to sales, your hour, Patterson Priority. There's hundreds of them out there. I've got to be able to find the perfect one online. Do I want a German? How about something exotic? A Belgian. That's the one. A Blue Moon Belgian Ale. BeerBelliesBeverage.com. With over 500 beers, you're certain to find the right one. Located in the heart of State College at Hamilton Square Shopping Center. We're cheers in the merrymakers, the givers and not takers, and the home decorators. To those that got us through spring, summer, and fall. We're cheers in for all at Duncan. Share some cheers in with friends via the Duncan app. America runs on Duncan. You're watching Nittany Nation Game Day. Welcome back. We are going to take this time to feature some Penn State seniors in a pretty impressive senior class. Senior Day is supposed to be about saying goodbye to players you've watched throughout the years, Peter. But what if I told you these guys might have the chance to come back and still play for Penn State? There's nothing normal about 2020. You're probably tired of hearing it, but this year has been different, especially for Penn State seniors. It all started with championship dreams, and now it's time to finish with some memories. If little me looked at me right now, I 100% know that little me would be happy. So that's how I think about things. To have a season and to be able to play, um, you know, with these guys for another year, you know, no matter how many games it was or whatever, it was definitely worth it. Normally, you get four years of college football eligibility. You get five if you're redshirt. Now, because of the pandemic and thanks to an NCAA waiver, all of your college athletes can take an extra year if the schools can figure it out. There's a lot of conversations uh, that we always have at the end of seasons with young men and their families about, you know, their futures. Uh, and obviously this year with a lot of the things that are going on and some of the decisions that the NCAA made, and that the Big Ten made, 
make those conversations uh, a, a little bit different. Schools have the option to bring back their seniors, but a big hurdle is coming up with the extra scholarship money. That's a challenge all by itself. I learned a life lesson here or something new every couple of days. And I just learned just how to reinvent myself, readapt, readjust, and just, you know, just keep learning. For now, just one more guaranteed game at home. Reporting from University Park, Peter Terpstra, Fort Nittany Nation. Thanks, me. This senior class has been through quite a bit. About five or six of these seniors redshirted, so they were freshmen when the team won the Big Ten back in 2016. Now, entering the season, the class had a 42-11 and 11 overall record. Counting this year, that's obviously dipped a bit. Right now, it's 44-16. and 16. They made New Year's Six Bowl games three different times, so yes, plenty of wins and still a chance to snag a bowl game this season. Now, once again, we're bringing back the best video of all time. Yes. Lamont Wade. Spooky. Ghost intense video. Intense at Beaver Stadium during the wideout against Michigan last year. Love it. Now we've done plenty of stories on Wade, his journey, and his family. Here's one more for the road. Wade has had some ups and downs this season, much like his career. He's had his troubles in some past coverage early on, but as always, he is a heavy hitter. Wade has 33 tackles along with one interception and two fumble recoveries. Now he can take a little time to look back at it all. Up until this point, I really had no idea how to, I guess you can say, lose or, you know, how to, you know, handle that. And especially with being a leader. And I feel like all of that, you know, how I said, beats about is going through that this, this year included. Uh, I feel like it all entails into, you know, a very meaningful, special, you know, life experience, something that is, that is really needed in order to uh, develop. And, you know, I feel like it, that all leads to this, you know, one moment that it is, it is special, uh, soaking it all in and, and just realizing how special everything was from, you know, this place. Now, who doesn't love a good old underdog story? His name is Isaac Lutz, redshirt senior, wide receiver from Redden, PA. He's been a special teams player really until the last two games where he had five catches for 49 yards combined. And maybe, just maybe I'm talking to you, Kirk Sharaka. He'll walk away from Penn State with a touchdown. Being out there, after I, after I catch my first one, I'm like, I want more. I mean, that kind of settles all the nerves after, after your first one. He's not the biggest. He's not the fastest. He's not the strongest. But at the same time, he's, he's somebody who you can trust on every play. He, he knows exactly where he's going. He knows how to win on routes. Um, he's, he's sneaky quick. Um, he's got great hands. Um, and then he's just, he, he's somebody, like, the whole trust thing, he's somebody who works all the time. Other notables from this class, of course, on the line, you got Will Fries, who's been playing a lot of football for Penn State. Yep. Michael Minnett, uh, your starting center for, like, three years for Penn State, a part of the senior class. And Shaka Tony, who I think uh, probably got the most out of this year. His mm -hmm. production has been great. Um, he's probably boosted his NFL stock, I would say, going forward. Well, when you've been behind Itor Grossmatos yeah. and Sharif uh, Miller, Sharif Miller yeah. and whatnot, you're finally seeing what he's all about. And then you've got Jason Owe behind him, Adiza Isaac. The, the mm -hmm. D-line is just like, you know, Reload. throwing out these, Reload. all these players and whatnot. And then you think about the players they don't even have right now. I mean, granted, they weren't going to be seniors, mm -hmm. but Micah Parsons, Pat Fryermuth, and mm -hmm. whatnot that are probably going to say goodbye to this program. But the senior class, like we were talking about, uh, it's been tough for them this year because your senior year, you know, in high school or college, it's supposed to be your year. Like, mm -hmm. this is your last chance, and you're playing in front of maybe 1,000 people it's instead always, of 100,000 people. It's always interesting kind of how – you think things might turn out like, for example, I mean, Trace McSorley, what, they went 9-4 and four, his, his last year at Penn State, yeah. um, and he's going to go down as like the all-time, you know, quarterback at, at, at Penn State. Uh, so I think it's always a nice reflection of the team as a whole. Um, but I think more than anything, these guys are going to be remembered as the team that just kind of like stuck through it. Um, and they have a chance to finish out this year strong. So, like, their legacy is not set. I think that's the point that I want to make is that yeah. if they're able to finish this year out, it, it could kind of change the whole taste of the whole thing. Yeah, so it'll be a different senior day, but we're hoping uh, these seniors are represented the right way. And, you know, you just make the best of it in 2020 and whatnot. So, all right, what do we got next on the show? Let's go to a tease. Oh, we got, uh, uh, oh, yeah, it's worth it and whatnot. We'll talk about that next.
Your news every hour in primetime is on News Nation on WGN America. News Nation reported on how to avoid costly online holiday shopping scams. This is going to be happening throughout the month. And told you about the nationwide rise in carjackings. My body was shaking. He had the gun pointed at my chest. News Nation covers your nation every night starting at 8, 7 central on WGN America. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find WGN America on your cable or satellite provider. Martin Oil Company delivers more than home heating oil, they deliver warmth. For over 50 years, your friends and neighbors have trusted Martin Oil for prompt delivery of premium heating oil. Call when you want fuel or enjoy the peace of mind that comes with automatic delivery. Whether your needs are residential or commercial, Martin Oil is always professional and reliable. Now Martin Oil's $1,000 Club for Heating Oil customers can earn you 3% interest plus deep discounts on fuel oil prices. Martin Oil Company, dependable as sunrise. Hot Tuna Professional Hearing Aids has been very good for me. I can go there any day of the week. Uh, I call them at any time. Uh, they've been very good. Anytime I need help with something, they're, they're always available. I've never had to wait more than a day for an appointment, if even that. Uh, I, I, I didn't know where to go in the beginning, and when I picked them, I wasn't sure, but it's certainly been the best place for me. We service all brands, no matter where you bought your hearing aid. Call for an appointment or curbside assistance. The Garden of the Empty Tomb at Alta Rest Park is an accessible choice for families who choose cremation and want a lasting memorial for their loved ones. Permanent memorialization serves an important emotional function by helping to bring closure and allowing the healing process to begin. Many kinds of memorials can be designed and installed in the Garden of the Empty Tomb. Please visit our website to learn more about our memorialization options for cremation. You're watching Nittany Nation Game Day. Well, welcome back. There's no other way to put this, Peter. The season this year has been a mess. Super messy. <laughs> like, we're talking like teenager, clean your room messy. Yes. Games have been canceled, what seems like every single week. You will not be able to find a team that has not been affected by COVID-19 one way or another. For example, the Big Ten had to change its rules earlier this week. At first, you had to have six games to qualify for the Big Ten championship game. Nope. <laughs> That's no more because Ohio State would not have been able to play in the title game because they wouldn't have had enough games. Michigan had to cancel the game, the Michigan-Ohio State rivalry game, thanks to COVID-19. So we have our Big Ten championship. It is set. Ohio State's going to play Northwestern for the Big Ten titles. Go Cats. <laughs> Go Cats. Next Saturday in Indianapolis. We'll see you then. And we will have another rivalry game dead in the water this week. That'd be Indiana and Purdue. The old Oaken Bucket yep. will not be played this weekend. Both schools had too many COVID-19 positive this week. These two schools have played each other every single year, dating back to 1919. Back then, World War I canceled the game. Not a pandemic, although a pandemic did happen the year before, but I guess it didn't cancel. Yeah. So. So thanks to all that, it's been a wild week. Penn State, at last checked, was one of three teams in the Big Ten that has been able to play its schedule so far without any games canceled or postponed. Only three out of 14. So was all this worth it? The burden and the weight that Wayne Sebastianelli and, and Dr. Greg Billy and Andy Muttnam and all our trainers, um, the burden that they have felt, you know, because their responsibility is to keep everybody safe and healthy, no matter what. And then my responsibility is to reinforce what they're telling me and also to try to find a way to play football within those parameters. Um, so it's, it's, been, it's been tough. I, I will tell you this, Rich, you know, I, I can't tell you what I would do for a hug from my wife and, and, and daughters. Ooh, heavy stuff. Shout out to Rich Scarcello. Moving on now for just a moment. Let's forget about our good friend COVID-19. Instead, we're going to take a hard turn to the hardwood. Penn State Hoops went from blowing a 19-point lead to Seton Hall to turn out a little roadkill. That's right. Penn State went on the road earlier this week to number 15 Virginia Tech as part of the Big Ten ACC Challenge. And the team jumped out to a 17-3 lead out of the gate. Isaiah Brockington, he had a career-high 24 points. And Penn State won the game in maybe the most important set of all time. 
Penn State is now 12 and 0, Peter, when we're in the black and pink uniforms in regular season games. Big Ten plays start Sunday for the Nittany Lions. I can't wait to take this thing off so they can see my face and my emotion. Coming up next, Coach Franklin, he's over it. We are two. We'll wrap things up after the break. Over the last 43 years, Professionals Auto Body has prided itself in high quality repairs and service. We've invested in the highest tech equipment available in our staff. We've been through rigorous training and certified by most of the original equipment manufacturers, something others can't do. Insurance people's new normal is trying to steer you to a low quality shop, kickbacks and promises to use junkyard knockoff parts for your repairs. Professionals Auto Body, where the area goes for untouchable, uncompromised craftsmanship. Ho, ho, ho! Santa's BOGO sale is going on now at Park Home. Santa's buy one, get one half off, plus 12 months, no interest. Buy a sofa, get a love seat half off. Buy a dinette set, get a server half off. Buy a bedroom suite, get a queen mattress half off. Buy a recliner, get a recliner half off. Don't miss Santa's BOGO sale. Buy one, get one half off. Going on now at Park Home. The comfort style and prize you've been dreaming of. Park Home, come fall in love. Missing the live casino experience? FanDuel now brings the dealers to you. For the first time in Pennsylvania, you can play your favorite table games live with real dealers on FanDuel Casino. Play live blackjack and roulette anywhere in Pennsylvania on your terms. There's always more ways to win on FanDuel. New casino players play your first 24 hours risk-free and get up to $200 back if you don't win. 20 locations and thousands of new and pre-owned vehicles. There's a lot we can say about the Sioka dealership's experience, but it seems that automotive news already beat us to it. This is what car buying was meant to be. Everything you want in service, selection, and total satisfaction. We invite your family to be part of our family. Experience the difference at SiokaDealerships.com. And coming soon, America's largest Subaru dealership in the heart of Philadelphia. You're watching WTAJ's Nittany Nation Game Day. This segment is proudly presented by Duncan. You're watching Nittany Nation Game Day. I can't wait to take this thing off so they can see my face and my emotion. And, they, uh, and I hug them. And when I used to punch Trace McSorley in the chest, and then he punched me back the one time and bruised my chest. And... I want people to see my emotion. I want people to see my passion. I want people to see my face. And I want to see theirs. And I want to hug. And I want to, I want to do all that. You know, I'm thinking like Coach Franklin punching one of his players, but I remember they got pads on and he doesn't, so that all, <laughs> it all makes sense now. Preach, Coach Franklin. you got to let the people know. That was Coach Franklin after practice earlier this week. And I think he summed up this whole pandemic feelings pretty well for everybody. Just make it stop. Yeah, at hopefully this point. COVID doesn't you know stop this game. Michigan State has a new coach and has had some struggles this season too. So let's take a look at Sparty. First thing you need to know this week is Michigan State could be without a starting quarterback and probably the best name in college football. All Rocky Lombardi has been the starter for the Spartans so far this season. Last week he went down with an injury, taking a sack against Ohio State. He hit his head on the turf and had to go to the locker room fresh and. Freshman Peyton Thorne came in and played the rest of the game, so we do not know who will start the game against Penn State. So Mel Tucker took over Michigan State coming in from Colorado after Mark Antonio announced his retirement. Sparty has two wins this season. Both were over ranked teams at the time. Now we know that Michigan win well, really wasn't as strong as it looked at the time, right? But it was at the big house. But that win over Northwestern Cookouts. turned out to be pretty impressive because as you know now, the Wildcats have made their way into the Big Ten Championship game. Oh, it's that time of the week. Yes, it is. Back by popular demand. Jack wants to talk some cash money. Yeah, we do. It's time to get Jack where I pick three games against the spread. All right, we're starting off with Mississippi State getting six points against Auburn. I can't, I, I can't take Auburn anymore. They're so frustrating to watch. They're so mm -hmm. overrated. And Mississippi State, I thought they were going to quit. They didn't quit the season. Also, Florida getting tw or laying 22 against LSU. LSU has tapped out. And if you watched their game against Alabama last week, 
you can see why. So Florida going to get some momentum heading into the SEC championship game. And then Texas playing our old hated rival Kansas, Peter. Meow. You know, Texas put up, I believe it was close to 70 points against Kansas State uh, last week. They're going to put up 80 this week against Kansas. Lay to 30 points. <laughs> it's always fun when you can just pick on Kansas. Jack, yeah. uh, what's your overall record so far? I believe we are now... Uh, I believe like 12 and 6. We went 3-0 last week. I'm okay, sure, yeah. I'm well, not then, sure, okay. Not sure the overall record, but we did, we did good last week. So 3-0, okay. uh, I believe we're five or six games over 500, which is pretty good. Mm -hmm. um, so we're happy with that. Hopefully you folks at home that are, you know, making a little bets are happy with that too. Or right. if you're fading me, you're not happy and you hate me. So, you know, whatever. <laughs> to each other out. Game time and TV. Folks, we want to tell you how to watch this thing. Penn State for Michi first Michigan State. It's a 3.30 p.m. kickoff televised on ESPN. Both of these teams looking to salvage the latter half of their season. Now let's take a look at the Big Ten East. And as you know, that whole six-game rule is done and done. Both Ohio State and Indiana, they're not playing this weekend. Uh, Ohio State is sitting pretty, kind of in the driver's seat to make college football playoff. They're but going here's to the have thing. to beat Northwestern. Ohio State beat Indiana, so Indiana fans, stop complaining. You had your chance, and you lost. It's true. To Ohio State. It's the most democratic wasn't close way to either. do it. Exactly. Big well, Ten kind West. Of, it got close to the end, but yeah, you know, you know what you're saying. Northwestern, they're going to the Big Ten Championship game. Iowa, actually a very impressive season, 5-2 uh, and two after losing their first two games yeah, that's of wild. the season. Uh, and they were kind of a couple close squeakers and whatnot. So uh, good, to, good luck for the Hawkeyes and whatnot. Uh, so, yeah, kind of exciting to see them. Uh, turn everything on. All right, let's do predictions really predictions. quickly. Uh, okay, so I, I think with... Two touchdown favorite, Penn State. Well, I'm going to say Penn State 24-7. to I think their defense has just been playing so well. We don't know who's going to start a quarterback for Michigan State. Even if it is Rocky Lombardi, he's been hit or miss so far this season. Yeah, I said a 10-point differential on nitwits this week. I said 30-20, to but I'm going to change. I'm going to bring the score down a little bit. I'm going to go 24-14 to because, like you said, Penn State is playing so well on defense, and you just don't know what you're going to get from the offense week in and week out. Yeah, and shout out to the secondary. They really locked things down. Jaquan Brisker's really come alive. Uh, Brandon Smith, the linebacker, the freshman linebacker, yeah. is looking like the player that folks hope that he's going to turn into. That's going to do it for this week's show. Penn State taking on Michigan State today, and then we'll see what happens in week nine. We're not sure. That's going to do it for now. We'll catch you later.